guys. Welcome back. So today is the day for my ultimate fall decorate with me. I'm so excited. I've had some pumpkins out here and there, just some little touches, but today I really wanted to just clean up the space and get the dust bunnies off my pumpkins and just because in the next few weeks <laughs> I'm going to be putting skeletons and spooky stuff out. So and I don't have anything planned, so you might see me, you know, going back and forth. Um, if you want to check out, like, where I purchased some of these items, there is a haul video that I did before this that you can find in my previous videos on my channel. So if you guys want to see me decorate for fall, stay tuned. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you an overview of kind of some pieces that I've had and a lot of this stuff is from previous years like these two little signs um, i got this one from walmart this one is from kendrick holmes which you can find at tj maxx or home goods whoops okay i got this painting from hobby lobby i have this really pretty leaf this is actually a thrifted piece and it says it's from haiti which is absolutely cool i bought this half-baked harvest cookbook which I would like to use. Um, got this pretty bowl from Hobby Lobby. This vase from Hobby Lobby. This was from Target last year. I thrifted this black tray from the Goodwill. This is literally, I think it had beer in it at one time and I scraped the letters off and literally put sticks and stems in it. Some pumpkins. These are the distressed pumpkins that I've done. I do the same technique as I did in the video for the terracotta pumpkins, which I'll be posting soon for some Halloween content. So this is just kind of an overview. I've got some lanterns. I don't really know. This is the space. It's really blank and there's just random stuff everywhere. Um, I've just got to dust and kind of sweep up some messes that I've got. I've also gotten those pumpkins. Those are the only ones that I've had to decorate with are my Target pumpkins. I did this really cute basket wall above the TV in here. I think that looks really neat. And a lot of these baskets have actually been thrifted. All but this big one with the handles. That one's actually hearth in hand. Everything else has been thrifted. These are actually placemats, but I just love all the texture and the different colors that it gives. Let's go. I struggle to see what your reasons are. Sitting in your balance, silence breaks my heart. Turn the key used to be a getaway car. Now I only wanna get away from where we are. Cause it's fake, yeah. Say you need a break. 
so this is the after of the fireplace mantle. I guess I lost the footage of me decorating it or I decorated it and didn't realize that I wasn't recording. I have no idea. I am new. This YouTube left. My stuff. camera cut off. <sighs> it's hard. I'm sweating. It's like summer in fall. My hair is a mess. <laughs> I've about got the um, living room decorated. I want to hang some. You can give me your opinion. Because I would love to know your guys' opinion. But sorry about the lighting. But here is the ledge that I've done. With just some brackets from Amazon. Make sure you get them in studs. This is 70 inches. So I thought this would be good to decorate as well. My handsome little nephew. Um... And I have this like fall, this was also, also thrifted you guys. My mom had got this, was given to her and she was literally gonna take it to the Goodwill. And I'm like, no, I would have just bought it from the Goodwill, can I please have it? So she gave it to me. Um, this is the vase that I got from TJ Maxx. Put some more of those stems from Hearth and Hand in there. And here is how it turned out, I love it. I'm still kind of figuring what I want to put. I think I want to put a mirror eventually behind there, maybe for Christmas time and add a wreath and maybe add some sconces on each side. So tell me your opinion on what do you think I could put there. Um, but these are some frames that I thrifted. I thrifted this one. I thrifted this one. I thrifted this one. This one I just put some paint over and just kind of distressed it. So. And I love like the sepia, sepia, black and white tone. So that's my little picture ledge that I've got. I want to add something on each side. So you guys give me your opinion. But if you guys want to watch me style the couch, we'll go ahead and do that. from Kirkland's. Yes, here's our little DIY pot. I've still got to do some more touches to it, but for now it's fine. Um, just a little antler in there. I like some of that mountain home feel mixed with some of my decor. Um, this coffee table is actually it's a storage. I've got pillows in here. Um, it's like a cedar chest kind of thing. I refinished it. I'm actually looking to sell it because this is just more farmhouse, so it's kind of not my style, but I do love it. Here's the lamp that I DIY that I got at Goodwill. It was a thrifted find. I just got a new lampshade for it, and it works. That thing was like $3. 
Um, I got this from Goodwill. This has been thrifted, this little um, tissue holder. Got my little leaf down there. Pillow pumpkin pillow is from Kirkland's. Blanket is from Burlington. There's our little pumpkin patch down here at the bottom. The little pumpkins down here. Um, this is actually an old sewing machine. But I use it as like a little desk. But you get the idea. This is from Target, Hobby Lobby. And yeah. That about wraps it up. Excuse my cord. Don't mind this over here. This is an entryway that I'm making over, so you'll see that in an upcoming video. But yeah, vacuum cleaners in the floor. Mercy. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is what I am looking at when I'm watching my scary movies. I think it just goes to show that you can make a space beautiful um, no matter what kind of budget that you're on. And like I said, if you've got old decor and you want to repurpose it, get some spray paint, get some daggone cement or, <laughs> you know, something and you can make something really cute like this. So if you guys liked the video, give me a like, comment, and tell me what your favorite thing about the Decorate With Me was. Stay tuned for my Halloween Decorate With Me and some DIYs there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.